Hello everybody, happy spring, happy spring. And uh, now we are here in Jupiter Garden. We are leaving after I pick in the garden and we are heading back to the Florida Keys. So I'm going around picking some pigeon peas before I go because we'll be back in about, um, in a few more days. So I'm picking these guys so I can make some cook up or pilau or, uh, you know, and like I learned in Trinidad, they put pigeon peas in everything. They put it in their um, curry chicken and put it in their cascadu. So these are things that I'm learning to use with pigeon peas with. And so I have a lot of green ones still coming up. I have some flowers coming up. It says more you pick, more you will get. So my friend, uh, my friend uh, Ken actually said that from Arcadia. Ken and Sage, hello Ken and Sage. I miss you guys. I love you guys. So look at these guys. Oh, you want to come here one? Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. So let's pick these guys here. I don't know if you can see. I'm picking the half ripe ones and the really dried up ones. With the dried up ones, you can soak it overnight and um, and then boil it. And it's better, you can boil it if you really want it to cook really fast. You can boil it with some baking soda or baking powder and a little bit of oil and it'll bake, uh, cook really fast. But look at it. I don't know if you can see. Look. This is the pigeon peas. Uh, so that's what the dry one looks like. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. This is Sandy from Sandy's Backyard Kitchen. Uh, we are here in the Jupiter Garden going around picking some delicious um things before i go we are heading home we are actually heading to where we spend most of our week in in key largo but look how nice these are these are ready to cook like this you can put it in rice you can put it in your stews you can cook it by itself i love pigeon peas especially if it's i'm growing it myself the best part is picking when you're growing stuff man i love it and i'm thankful um the garden really is struggling because we had many really cold Pick one here. Oh. And we had many, one many cold days and hot days and so on. So now everything is like trying to um, survive a little bit. And um, we're hoping for rain, guys. So we're hoping for rain. We need some rain. Send us some rain. Uh, I need it here and I need it badly in the Florida Keys also. Uh, you're supposed to soak this before you plant. But I have a little makeshift sprinkler goes on. So I'm going to put these couple of seeds right around here. And hopefully some will grow. That's how this one grew. That's how this one grew. I just throw some seeds there. <laughs> All right. So I have a papaya here also to pick. Um, like I said, I'm getting these. But oh, check out this lily that came so beautiful this morning. Look at this. I have a few um, blooming right now in this in this garden, and this is the leaf of life. Like I said, it's been like two or three months now that the flowers are still here. And these are like chandeliers, I call them. But they're so beautiful. I love it. Now I'm planting leaf of life everywhere. Because if the flowers comes up like this and it stays for so many, so many months, it's beautiful to have in a garden. And look how, and it has different colors as it mature. You know, you get a little purple, get a little bit red, a little peach, and uh, things like that. So I have one papaya over here. <laughs> this one is like half full so that's why I'm picking it so you see because I'll leave it on the counter and it will ripe up I don't want it to ripe maybe I might not be back in about 3-4 days it might be fully ripe so. I'll leave this no not on the car leave this here and let's go walk to the back and I have some golden apples or the palm sit here. But these guys are still young. I have many, many flowers coming up. Look. So many, many flowers for all my Trini friends who live around here. I have many flowers. So you will get you will get this delicious fruit in the, in about a couple months, you know? Three, four months. See there's some more here all as well. And since we are heading back. To, um, since we're heading back home, so I only have two little curry plants in the garden on the other side, but it's very small curry plants. So I'm picking some curry leaves or carpoli to take with me. 
Also, um, on the way home for lunchtime, we were stopping by Joy's Roti Delight. Many, it was one of my one of my favorite places here in South Florida. Taste of Trini and Guyanese. And um, so I love Auntie Sheila, Pradeep and Dave. They're amazing people. So I'm meeting Natasha from Trini Cooking with Natasha. We'll just hang out and have a little lunch. So I'm so excited to meet Natasha. I met her once, but we didn't have a chance like to sit down and talk much and so on when Shanti was here. So um, today we'll have an opportunity to enjoy and get to know each other. And also we are also going as special guests um, to St. Martin at the end of July. So I'm excited about that. Both of us are going there as special guests. So I'm getting to know her. I'm so excited. Uh, look, we have some um, Pudina or Bradleaf thyme or also the Cuban oregano. I don't need to take any of this. I have some over there because these are still struggling right now. Yeah. Do we need more coral leaves coming? I don't think uh, so, right? Because we'll be back in about three days. Uh, unless we have to stay through the weekend. Hmm? Unless we have to stay through the weekend. Oh, I don't know. Let me see. Let me get another bun. Another bunch of carpooly curry leaves. Okay. What's that for? Oh, these are things that I'm taking to the keys that I have in this garden. Um, I will attach some orchids and all that good stuff on it. I have it out here too when I have room to take. And check out all my orchids, oh my goodness. You know, years, years ago, I attached these orchids and they're doing so well. So much of them will um, bloom. As soon as everything starts to get some rain, this year is going to take off. I will have to trim it every week. Uh, this is my anato or uku. Uh, you see, you see how the little cold and hot is getting it, but it's still surviving, still surviving here. All we need is a little bit of rain. Actually, let me get some pudina or Bradley's time. Hey Tommy, show them all those beautiful flowers that, that those white orchids too that's blooming attached there to that uh, palm tree. So guys, the garden is doing well. Like I said, we have a little um, homemade sprinkler system, so at least it's getting wet a little bit. So everything starts to look a little green, you know, uh, a little green here. Our peppers are doing well. The rosemary, look at it, all these rosemary. John says to pick some rosemary, so let's get some. But look how big all these guys are over here. I'll like, I wish I, I needed scissors, but trim these guys, prune it. Oh, I love the smell of rosemary. I actually like the smell of all different uh, seasoning. I can bathe with, a, with seasoning. I love it. Check this out. You see all the rosemary, guys? I don't know. I'll leave this stuff here. But check out these rosemary. Hello, good morning, good morning. I'm going through the Jupiter Garden. I want to show you the garden before we leave. Um, I know you haven't seen it in a while, but everything is doing well. Everything started to look a little green. All the orchids, the flowers are starting to bloom. So happy spring, everyone. Happy spring. So I'm taking home some carpoli leaves. Um, look, uh, some rosemary. I also have some padina or bradleaf thyme that we just picked for some of you who are coming on right now. I'm emptying my bowl here and so we can get and um, to go pick some more. But check out these uh, get the critters, pigeon peas. Get pigeon the critters peas. out. Yeah. So I'll leave these guys and we'll pick. Oh, and um, by the way, this is some edo leaf or dashing bush too, and we'll pick these also. Because I um, mean, that way the little ones will come up, and I'll put this in dal. I have some at home, so I'll mix it. Uh, so, look, look at all my little pepper plants that are coming up. These are hot pepper plants that are coming up there. Oh, it's nice. Okay, I'll leave this here as well. We're just going around the yard and see what we need to pick before we go. Okay. And just to check on everything before we go. 
All the bananas are catching up all nice. Look, we have a little banana coming up or swoop fig. And this is our mo moco. This is a moco banana. It's, it's not doing so well, but the flower is nice. You can actually use the flowers as well. Oh, look at all my Hawaiian flowers around. Start to give flowers. Nice, nice. See all these guys here look how many flowers are coming up I don't have any very much on the tree they're very young but I'll pick these two these are two they're a little young but I'll still get it and these here as well there's some younger one here another step and then a lot of blooms but check out, this is the first time this mango tree is bearing this year. I'm not telling the truth, I'm not sure what kind of mango it is. But when I grow it, I grow it from a seed, and I know it was a good sweet mango, I wouldn't have put it in the ground. And, but I want, oh, okay, I can't wait. <laughs> but I want you to see the dummy here. Show them how big the mangoes are getting already. They're not so big, but they're little babies, so hopefully our weather and so will be great so they can you know, mature. I have three mangoes three this year that all are blooming. All are blooming. So it's fantastic. I'll be getting so many mangoes this year. And I see the avocado tree now are giving young leaves. That means the next step will be blooms for avocados. But you see the flower here, Tommy? Huge. Beautiful, huh? Big. Beautiful. Oh, check out. This is the big belly full mango. This mango is so, it's bigger than my face. Uh, but look how, how much it's loaded, loaded. It's loaded. Do I have any papaya here to pick? One. Okay, that, one is, that one is like a little rock. No, I don't have any yet. You sure? Some more papaya. When we come back next trip, Tommy will have to yeah, take yeah. Huh? Hello. Johnny had friends over for a little fireside. Oh. oh look, my white my white orchid on the mango underneath the mango tree started to bloom. So pretty. What, you mean moringa leaves or no? No, no, no. Look at the moringa leaves over there. But the moringas, I cut them all the way back. And I see they're doing so, so well. Jesus, well, this thing is really loaded. Look at it. Let oh, my God. See you. Guys, I didn't really. This is crazy. Oh I don't know if you can see the specs. This Look how many mangoes. Wow. This is the most ever. Look how many mangoes. Guys, you're going to get your belly full of mangoes this time. This time, for sure. Holy smokes. I don't know if they can see that. Yeah. Oh, my God. Nice, nice mangoes. Yeah. Like this way, see? Man, this I look how big and nice. Huh? Man, let me tell you, we're blessed to have these trees. I grow them from scratch. And this is a long long gone. This thing Coming. took a long time to come up, attorney Tommy. Yes. Finally, finally grew up. <laughs> I haven't seen any bloom yet on this avocado. I also grow this one from a seed. And then it's going over the fence. Look at that. Hold on a second. Uh -oh, The next time we come here in Jupiter Garden, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to make salad with this cactus. I learned it from our friends. Uh, he's from Guatemala. And he showed me how they would scrape it and how they grill it and put in the tacos. But um, I've never tried it in my life, but I definitely will try. But look how cute and nice it is. 
this thing grows like crazy you can just take a piece off and put it anywhere it will grow oh tommy we need to bring some to the keys oh that'd be beautiful this will be beautiful in, in our front as well mm -hmm. perfect yeah we'll bring some of this to the keys next time you're here so thank you all for being part of us thank you um, <laughs> And, and this is our third mango tree. Look how loaded it, it is also. Last year it bare one mango. Um, so this year it's just packed. Packed, packed, packed. Definitely I will not go without green mangoes for the next year like I am this year. I didn't really um, keep my mango last year. I share it out so much. So this year there's so much there to share and also for me to keep for green mango and all that good stuff. All right, guys. Love you. Stay amazing. And I will go get ready for leaving for the keys. Thank you all for being part of us. Thank you for um, sharing and leaving a comment. Thank you for the inspiration you give us on a daily basis. Uh, stay fantastic, everyone, and have a great morning. I'll be taking a lot of pictures and videos, and I'll be posting. So thank you for being part of us. And I started doing my Trinidad. I started to do all my Trinidad posting because when we came back from Trinidad, we didn't have a chance to post our videos. Um, and then my mom were here too for over a month, almost two months. So I didn't have a chance to start to, so I'll, I'll be posting a lot of Trinidad videos and also Guyana because I still have videos from Guyana that I've never posted. Um, so I'm excited, I'm excited. Um, I'm also excited to go by Joy's Roti, her food is it's really one one of my favorites here in South Florida. Uh, Joyce wrote to delight. I'm excited to meet Natasha again for the second time. And uh, so stay amazing, everybody, and have a wonderful morning. What are you here? Let me pick this up. <laughs>